up on Blitz, let's go to the phone where we've got Coach Jim Hughes on the line from Union County High School to talk about Lady Panthers basketball. Coach Hughes, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us here on Blitz. Well, I thank you for having us. Um, you know, we're real happy with the job that you guys do and uh, covering high school basketball, especially local. Um, it makes it great for our families and for the viewers in general. Now, you're off to a great start on the year, Coach. Uh, you, you started out 4-0, and and then you dropped a pair of close nail biters, uh, one of those to Towns County. And uh, do, you, do you already have a good indication of where this season's heading, or is it still kind of too early to tell? Well, uh, you know, I really feel like we're going to be a, be a good basketball team this year. Um, the loss to Towns, is a, it's a rival game for us, and every time we go over there, you know, it's it's close. You can throw the records away. Our girls are going to play hard. Theirs are going to play hard. And it basically comes down to breaks. And, uh, and this time the breaks went against us. Uh, we have them again this Friday at home. So we're hoping to uh, that the next time's our time. But uh, they're a fine team. And then uh, our second loss was a 49 to 43 loss to. Chesty, who's ranked number three in the state, a uh, very fine basketball team. Uh, we got down at halftime, 25 to 12. Uh, came back with a great third quarter and outscored Chesty 17 to seven to get within three. And then Chesty, as good teams do, uh, they they picked up their defense and we had some trouble scoring. In the beginning of the fourth quarter, they were able to pull away. And uh, once you start fouling them, they did a magnificent job at the foul line in the fourth quarter. And uh, even though we kept trying to come back, uh, you know, we could not get any closer than the six points there at the end. Uh, so all in all, I was happy with the effort. Uh, you know, I wish, uh, again, we, we got to learn to get through that little part there when we got to within three at the end of the third quarter we needed to find a way to score a couple buckets at the beginning of the fourth. But uh, to take nothing away from Chester T, they're a fine ball team, and uh, you know, we'll have another shot at them again. We wanted to play them because we wanted to play uh, quality non-region opponents to get us ready for our region play, which begins in January. Yeah, they, they are a great team, especially down low with uh, Peyton Robertson, their, their senior leader on that team. Uh, Coach, talk about what you have to work with this season on your roster. Looking up and down the roster, it seems like you've got a heavy junior class that contributes to the team leadership. Uh, yes, we got a we have a fine junior class. We also have a fine senior class, and they've been playing together um, since they were young, uh, which is really good. Um, this this team here, um, I'm going to actually start with our seniors. Uh, a couple of them got pressed into starting since they were sophomores, and that's Holly Abernathy, who's our point guard. Uh, she began starting as a sophomore. Also, Tori Dyer, who's a shortstop on our softball team. Uh, she starts and has for three years. Uh, Tori's not a scorer, but she is that player that does all the little things that need to be done. That don't they, they do not necessarily show up in the stat book, uh, but she gets at those hustle plays. Uh, she'll make that extra pass to get to our shooters, and uh, she's just a fine leader. Um, on the junior side, uh, two players that I'm going to mention first here. Uh, first, Rebecca Merritt, who started since she was a freshman. Uh, Becca's a special player in that. She can. She has to do a little bit of everything for us. She has to uh, help bring the ball up on the press. She has to play inside, outside, and uh, she has a complete game. Uh, the other junior I'm going to talk about is my daughter, Angie Hughes. Uh, she's also a junior, and uh, she started since she was a freshman also. And uh, Angie has progressively gotten better uh Softball is her main sport, and uh, she she loves basketball, and she has shown improvement each year. Um, our other junior starter is Katie Tanner, and Katie is one of those that can score, 
Uh, she can also give you hustle points, and uh, she has a good mental toughness to her. So uh, all in all, you know, those are our starters. Uh, we have a couple that we bring in, about four players off the bench that are good ball players, and what we're trying to do is find the right combinations for the entire game, and it's kind of a mix-and-match uh, thing. So uh, all in all, very happy with our juniors, but very happy with the whole team as far as uh, coming together to play. Yeah, now, you, uh, Coach, you made state a couple a couple years in a row, the 7 08 and the 8 09 season. Do you think this group of girls has the ability to get Union back in the state bracket? Uh, definitely have the ability. Um, you know, we, we play in what I consider, of course, uh, uh, to be the second toughest region in the state behind 6AA, and uh, with the addition of the new teams, which we're going to talk about later, uh, that, that just made it that much tougher. Uh, and most of our sub-region, I'm going to talk about it for a second, uh, uh, the way it is this year, Fannin County, just the other day, uh, played Banks County, and Fannin is 9-0 and right now, uh, ranked, I believe, number seven in the state. And it was a six-point ball game, uh, which shows that all, all through our subregion, it's going to be a battle every night. And uh, it's going to be very important uh, in the subregion to come out with either the first or second seed, if possible. And we have two teams, Raven and Fannin, ranked in the top ten on our side. So it's, it's going to be a battle come January every game. But, yes, I do believe that we have the ability to get back, but we're going to have to prove it on the court. Now, you mentioned your region uh, games that start in January. The final tune-up, if you want to call it that, before starting the region play is always the Battle of the States Tournament at Towns County, December 27th through the 29th. And you mentioned that that's always a rivalry matchup, so you got to throw the records out. What do you hope to accomplish there this season in that tournament? Well, uh, our goal this year is to win it. Uh, you know, the last couple of years we've got to play the, the winner in the second round, um, which is a team out of Tennessee, Polk County, Tennessee. This year we're matched up in our first game against Hoax Bluff, Alabama. Uh, do not know much about them. Uh, you know, we, we'll find out more as we get there. Uh, and then our if we win it, we'll be probably playing Towns again in the second round. So, uh uh, I'm going to be interesting to see how it comes out. Uh, you know, it's it's a fine tournament. There's several good teams in it. Fannin County's in it. Polk County, Tennessee has won it the last two years. They're in it. Towns County, who I believe is either undefeated or one loss at the most uh, right now, they're in it. So, um, you know, it is a battle year in, year out. Also, Gordon Lee girls are coming back, and they're – a fine Class A high school team, uh, so it's going to be it's going to be tough to win, but that's what we're going for. Well, Coach Hughes, it was a pleasure having you on here with us, and good luck to you the rest of the way. Okay, and if I could say one other thing real quick, I don't know if I'm am I out of time. Oh, you go go ahead. Uh, you know, I do want to mention our region because uh, I, I was waiting on that question to come. Uh, North Oconee, uh, we really feel is probably tops in our region, and then you got Hart County, East Hall, Elbert County, uh, Fannin County, Raven County, all right there. So, I mean, it's, it is going to be a battle for the top four spots, and then uh, the number four team is probably going to be matched up against Buford in the first round, uh, so it's going to be very important to come out of our region in those top two spots as uh, being matched with Region 6AA in the first round mm -hmm. gives you the last year's state champion and last year's number three team in GAC in the first round. So uh, it's going to be a, going to be an exciting year, and I, I sure appreciate you having us on here and uh, look forward to watching the games, and I hope the fans have, a, have fun with them. Uh, we look forward to watching it as well, and we hope that you're able to lock up one of those seeds coming out and uh, you know, hopefully have some good luck in the state tournament as well. Okay, thank you. Thanks, uh, Coach.